Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about. Also, the home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about. Mm. Give us money. Anyhow, moving straight into it today. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic at, and subject matter at hand that affects everyone that this topic and subject matter at hand affects uh, and or is interested in and or wants to watch. But we know you watch all our videos. Hi, Mom. Anyhow, moving straight into it today. Today, of course, we are talking about the one and only Fire HD Kids Pro Tablet from the Amazonuses. That's right. So, Fire HD Kids Pro Tablet from Amazon. What can be said about this one? Well, uh, man, if you are looking for a tablet for a youngin, uh, and or you want to uh, kind of upgrade a uh, older tablet for a youngin, uh, and things of that nature, then this Fire HD 10 Kids Pro Tablet really does bring enough to the table, man, to where it's a very decent and warranted purchase, man, if you're looking to, you know, even get your kids started on a tablet and things of that nature. Is it the fastest operating system out there? No. Is it the most efficient as far as everything that it does? Probably not. Is it very accurate and able and continually impressive for the needs that are met for a younger individual messing with a tablet? Absolutely, and that's where it kind of shines with. Uh, so while, you know, it might not be what you want to pick up for yourself if you're looking for a new uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, kind of gaming computer complete setup that Phil Spencer should probably send you. Hey, Phil Spencer, why don't you send us a new complete setup gaming uh, computer, uh, you cheap bastard. Uh, that's another story. We digress. We're talking about the Amazon Fire HD tablet now. We just can't help but think that Phil Spencer uh, and all of his lots of uh, gaming computers hasn't sent us a free one for doing pretty much nothing, which he probably owes us. We digress again. Uh, man, this has everything that you would want it to have for a younger, and especially if you are into the parental controls and things of that nature. Uh, it really is easy enough to set up Get it hooked up to where you can make changes on an external device that doesn't, uh, you know, necessarily coincide with having to obtain this to make changes to it uh, as far as what you want to allow or not allow access to or time limits or anything like that. You can handle all of those from your smartphone or device that you have kind of linked to your account uh, so that you have those type of parental controls around it. Same thing with like purchases. You can make it to where, uh, you know, purchases have to be approved so you get requests. Now, lo and behold, uh, you know, say a kid goes on to the store and they, uh, you know, try and uh, figure out how to get shit from the store, uh, you might potentially get 20 to 30 fucking emails in a 10 minute period that say, uh, this has been requested, this has been requested, this has been requested, uh, because they keep requesting a bunch of shit. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, you know, that's just something that you may encounter. Uh, we happen to encounter that. And yes, it is possible to get a plethora of emails uh, requesting a bunch of, uh, you know, random shit. But we digress again, man. Uh, the tablet itself, it's efficient enough. It's good enough. Uh, man, we would highly recommend it for anyone looking for a, uh, you know, kind of tablet purchase for a, uh, you know, youngin. Uh, ages, uh, you know, it says six plus, but... You know, some kids are old for their age now, so we would say, uh, man, you know, ages four or five and up, man, and you're pretty, you're pretty solid and set. Uh, definitely a decent screen size, man, on this one here. Uh, you know, I guess the uh, case could seemingly be a little more sturdy, but it is, uh, you know, more geared towards an older individual's tablet. And not necessarily just completely like baby proof, man. You don't want to spike it on the floor or even drop it on the floor. Obviously, it should never be a goal. But if it were to happen, man, you know, you would probably fare okay. But the size of that, uh, you know, main screen, I would definitely, uh, you know, exercise caution with how it's handled and, you know, kept and stored and put away and everything like that. Uh, you know, because, yeah, you can probably have some issues with that pretty easily, man, from someone stepping on it or, uh, you know, yeah, dropping it wrong or in the wrong place or dropping something on it, you know, if it's not uh, kind of out of the way picked up or anything like that. Uh, battery life, man, seems pretty solid on it. No complaints 
experience with that. I mean, hell, by the time you, uh, you know, kind of deplete it all the way down, you've had some good gameplay. Uh, and you also have access, man, to a lot of, uh, you know, kind of traditional, standard kind of, uh, you know, gaming favorites, man. Uh, you know, you can put the Minecraft assists on here and, you know, whatever else that you can find in the uh, app store. Uh, you know, both game and the ebooks and, you know, everything aside, man. So it's got all the, you know, kind of educationally stuff uh, for, you know, kids and individuals as well. So get it, don't get it, try it, don't try it. We don't care. We just want your money. Uh, Amazon, what a great commercial we did for your Fire HD 10 Kids Pro, even though we segued into, you know, Phil Spencer potentially owing us a, uh, you know, tricked out gaming computer, which you know, let's be realistic, he does. Uh, so you should probably Amazon give us at least $13,000 for this awesome commercial that we've done for you. Uh, and you should probably give us that in cash. Everyone else, you should probably feel bad for us and give us money, so do that. Anyhow, uh, Fire HD 10 Kids Pro tablet. What can be said about this one? Uh, you get a uh, good old-fashioned, man. We'll go uh, 9 out of 10, because, uh, yeah... Uh, there's surely something that's not great 10 out of 10 worthy about it, but as of now, we can't think of it, and so, uh, we'll just do the fair thing and not give it a great score. Uh, well, a perfect score, we'll say that. There's probably an issue somewhere or another, I don't know, maybe, uh, we don't like the case color or something, so there you go, you lose a whole point. It doesn't matter, the tablet's fine, get it or don't get it, we don't care, do whatever you feel like. Have a good one, you probably didn't, we'll catch you next time, probably won't.